All right, in this quick tutorial, we are going to make a animated toggle switch so that when you click it, it goes to its on state and you can click it back to its off state again. Pretty simple and we're going to knock it out pretty quick. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll make our uh, toggle handle. So we'll make an ellipse. Uh, I did that just by hitting O. Uh, I think we'll maybe make it about 22. That looks good. We'll just automatically set this to white. And then we're going to make a frame around it, or you can click it and hit Shift A, and that will put it in an auto layout, as you can see here, automatically. So we'll call this toggle switch. Um, we're going to just adjust our padding here to be maybe like two and two. We don't want anything big. Uh, we'll add black fill to it and then we're going to ramp up our corner radius so that it's a circle. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is change this to fixed width. We'll go 26, we'll times that by 2, 54 I think. That looks bigger than it should, but okay. This is supposed to be 44. Okay. There we go. Uh, I want to give it a little more, so we'll make it actually 48. All right, perfect. All right, and then just set your auto layout to uh, center left. And just to show you how this will be changing our final state is we'll just be able to left and right align it, and that will give us the... We won't have to move that circle ourselves. Uh, the next thing I want to do is just add some text to it. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to add the text tool, type off, and then I'm going to duplicate that, type on, these are pretty big, so we'll bring them down to 10, there you are. Uh, and now I don't want these inside the auto layout, um, so we're going to set them to fixed position. So I'll grab my off, I'll set it about there, grab my on center with the ellipse and then I'm actually going to drag these guys to the top because I have my layer stacking set to last on top here so it'll actually show below the circle and then that's all we need to do so now we'll create a component out of that add a new state this will be our on state just call it on uh, as it's, if you remember you just click this now our toggle is on and we will just change our color to be more of a green. Okay, and now the last thing we have to do is prototype it up. So you can use the plus symbol or you can drag here. On tap, change to property on, smart animate. We'll select this one, exact same thing. And uh, we should be ready to use it. So if we go to our screen here, and we go to our assets, we look for our toggle switch, drag it in there, and if we hit play, this should work. There it is. When you tap it, it turns to on, turns back to off. Pretty easy. Um, this is a quick one, more for the beginners, but you know, if you're not doing it this way, maybe it's a new way. If you've got a better way to do it, leave it in the comments, like subscribe, check out my other channels. I also have a Patreon where I'll be putting more in depth stuff on there as well. So thanks for watching. See you next time.